Well, after 36 years, the two of you still seem to go along amazingly well. What's the secret? That's easy. She's a saint. Mark Newman, born and raised on a working farm near East Troy, Wisconsin. Later, a high school math teacher, successful businessman, former United States congressman, husband of 36 years, and father of three. But outside of the political spotlight, who is Mark Newman? John Helminiak, author, investigative reporter and global explorer, spent a day with Mark and his wife Sue right in their own backyard. It's Saturday. The grandchildren have just left, so Mark and Sue enjoy a rare moment together in their kitchen, in between a hectic campaign schedule. Is it all right if we don't talk about business or politics today? Because what I really want to do is learn about the personal side of Mark Newman. That'll make it a great day. Sounds good to me. Excellent. About you Sounds there. good. After earning an undergraduate degree at the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater and a master's degree at UW-River Falls, Mark's first job was teaching high school math. Now, you were a math teacher for several years, and I still have nightmares of sitting in the back of the class, hoping the teacher won't call on me to come up to the blackboard and explain a problem. You didn't do that to your students, I hope. I know guys like you, yeah. and what I did is I worked really hard to make sure that you were comfortable enough to ask a question in a non-threatening environment, and my job as a teacher was to make sure that you understood the answer to the question. I even I tried to, in lesson preparation, anticipate what the questions would be to try and take some of the fear out of the situation. So I'd be safe in your math class? Then. You would. Actually, there were a lot of people. I taught a lot of adults coming back to college, actually, and, and uh, that fear that you're talking about was deeply ingrained. If you could have dinner with somebody who you've never met before, deceased or alive, who would that be? I'd have to flip a coin. It'd be Abraham Lincoln or Ronald Reagan, for sure. I have a great deal of respect for both of them. They stood for what they believed in, and at the end of the day, they were who they were. Storybook romance? They still exist, at least for Mark and Sue. They met in the fourth grade, dated in high school, and were married after college. Mark knows that family, charities, friends and individual responsibility pave the way for a productive and fulfilling life, not big government bureaucrats. History proves that. Mark, I'm curious, who are the people that have impacted your personal life most significantly? Well, I'd start with Sue. Uh, certainly she's had the biggest impact on my life by far. Uh, I'm very close to my kids. We're, they're all grown now and we're both business partners and very good friends as well. And of course, they bring the grandkids over. It's very important. But, when I look back over growing up, it was certainly my dad uh, and my mom, but my dad leaving us with the thought that uh, whatever we do, do it to the best of your God-given ability and accept the outcome because you know the Lord's in control. Wisconsin's natural beauty is one of the reasons Mark and Sue have spent their entire lives living and working in Wisconsin. Lakes are one of Mark's favorite natural resources, and he's canoed the waterways of both Wisconsin and Canada. Where did you go? What part of Canada? Uh, right north of Eli, Minnesota. Oh yeah, so that'd be up in the Quetico Provincial Park, probably, or the Boundary Waters. The boundary Waters. Yeah, boundary yeah, waters. beautiful country. So I took two of those trips, so we had some pretty good canoeing up there. Beautiful country. I broke a paddle right out in the middle with about three foot waves. Not good scene. Now yeah, you learn a lot about cooperation and teamwork. Yep. Mark identifies himself first as a family man, then as a businessman. Faith, family, and hard work have been his priorities in life, not politics. I have this vision of the typical Wisconsin family loading up the car and traveling somewhere for summer vacation. Did the Newman family do that? Yes, lots. Um, I can remember traveling all over the country. Probably the most memorable one was to our nation's capital uh, where we saw the Washington Memorial. Uh, the Lincoln is so motivating as a monument and the uh, Gettysburg Address, of course, when you look to the uh, left and when you look to the right, his second inaugural address. 
And we had our kids out in Arlington National Cemetery. It's something you just never forget. So yeah, we have a lot of really good memories of that. We've had a wonderful time with our families and watched them grow up. This race is really, whoops, we're not supposed to talk politics, but the reality is it's why we're running. It's because we're really concerned that they have the same kinds of opportunities in this great country that we have. And now you have grandchildren too. We do, and I'm very concerned about their future. Our grandchildren are great. We've got three of them. Fourth one on the way. Abraham Lincoln once said, God must love the common man. He made so many of them. You know what? After spending the afternoon with Mark and Sue, I'm convinced Mark is a true blue Wisconsinite, proud father, loyal husband, honest businessman, and somebody who I'd love to have over for dinner. Mark Newman is indeed that common man. Dedicated worker, family-oriented, unpretentious, and relying on his faith to guide him. This has been a Christian Peskin production.